G'day guys. Just doing a Jason early, having a cup of tea. So, uh, cheers to you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> cheers to you, Jace. It is good. Nice cup of tea. Um, just a bit of a wash from last night's gig. I thought I'd better um, make a few points, I suppose, on video about last night's gig. Um, the first point I'd like to make is the, um, the loading. Um, running late. For any gig is bad but not having been there before was worse um, and because I hadn't spoken to the clients about the load in in particular um, there was no room for left left for me to get into the property it's a backyard party um, so it was a very long load in from the, the street um, driveway was all blocked up with cars so it was just a difficult load in so uh, perhaps had I worded up the client beforehand there could have been access for me that's number one. And here's a guy that's been doing it for over 30 years. You think uh, I'd learn from uh, past mistakes, but you forget these things um, time and again. And that's why I suppose these videos are all about helping some of you new guys uh, learn from my old mistakes and hey, the mistakes I still make sometimes. So loading was a, a bit of a letdown. The next point is where you are going to set up your equipment. The owners had told me they had hired a huge marquee, um, so uh, silly me, just made assumptions, um, and I made assumptions that they would have hired a dance floor, and possibly some sort of rigid flooring for me to set up. <sighs> silly me. They didn't. We had a huge marquee, gigantic, uh, or as the Americans would call, huge tent, in the backyard of this uh, property. Beautiful lawn, and we're not talking golf club um, lawn that thin. We are talking rough buffalo grass, Australian style, uh, up and down, not very level lawn. And um, I could not find a level piece of lawn to save myself to set up my usual equipment. Lucky just that I'm an old guy and I've been around the traps a few times that I was able to improvise on the night. You'll see this in the video and um, we were able to um, make do with some other things. So, um, but that was a bit dodgy. Also added to the load in time, so how are we gonna set up? So we had to set up something a little bit different, a different way than I've ever set up before. Um, and the dance floor. When you've got a whole heap of drunk people, 80 to 100 drunk people, dancing around on uneven uh, lawn, um, if they're that drunk, they're going to fall over anyway. An uneven lawn makes them even more so unstable on their feet. Um, we had lots of people fall over. Not just because of the lawn. They were very drunk. However, the client himself, uh, Stuart, a big shout out to Stewie, if you're watching Stuart, and I hope you get better soon, um, had a terrible tumble uh, about midway through the party. About, uh, I think it was about 11.30 to midnight, roughly about that time, um, and dislocated his kneecap. And uh, awful lot of pain, um, and so Stewie, uh, big shout out to you mate, and hope you're feeling better, if you get to watch this. Um, it was um, not good to see uh, someone in that much pain. And had there been a dance floor, I'm not saying it wouldn't have happened, but I think the likelihood of it uh, happening would have been um, lessened a lot. So. Um, yeah, so people do get hurt. Um, so maybe that in the fall planning and um, just that advice you can um, offer to clients would probably help them in the long run in more ways than one. The other thing I'd like to talk about is drunks. <sighs> Lots of different types of uh, drunk people. There's most of the people they are happy drunks. And last night was no different. Happy, happy, happy drunks. No one aggro, no one I uh, wanted to start a fight with anyone. It wasn't like that. But drunk people are very unpredictable and very unstable on their feet. I had to pay a lot of attention and super concentration the whole night just in sheer um, self-preservation or protection of my equipment. So you young guy, younger guys out there that haven't done a lot of gigs, beware where people are super inebriated. In other words, if people had a lot, lot to drink, for God's sake, don't get tempted to drink yourselves. You need to have your wits about you. 
so many times people just come stag staggering up to my console, big lean on it, and DJ, I want you to play a song. And if I wasn't there, or if I wasn't paying attention to do the counter lean, um, back against the weight of their, their they were leaning up against that, um, the equipment would have gone over, for sure. So many times people were tripping and stumbling straight to, towards the speaker stand. Um, and you just got to be on the bloody front foot to watch these people, to protect the gear, to keep the party going. Um, so just beware of drunks. Of course, we had our classic drunk lady who um, was just annoying all night, um, asking for requests that just would not have kept the party going. Um, yeah, and to the point of later in the night going, are you going to keep playing shit music all night? To which point I said, for you, I will. So looked her straight down the eye and said, yeah, I'm going to keep playing this sort of music just to piss you off. In the nicest possible way, of course. There's not much you can do uh, about people like that. Um, the later the night went, the harder and harder it was to even understand a word you were saying. So, yeah. It takes all types to make up this world. So, but drunk people and their instability on their feet. Please, just take warning, take heed. Um, you need to be on the lookout in a backyard party environment. It's a bit different at a wedding, a lot different at a wedding. Um, and things that are more formally set up, uh, usually there's a dance floor and there's, yeah, there's just a little bit more regulation on where people go and where people dance and where people walk. But in a backyard, there's people everywhere. And uh, if you've got fall down drunks, it can cause a lot of issue, issues for you. Anyway, hope a few little tips there or a few little warnings might help some of you guys out there. But uh, it was a good gig. We didn't get a lot of footage, as I said in the footage, uh, as you'll see. Um, a lot of people didn't want, yeah, turn that camera off, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, it was the big objection, but in light of what Damo was saying and uh, a couple of his gigs, um, I didn't want any trouble. And it's no big deal if you don't get footage of pe the people at the party dancing, as far as I'm concerned. So, you yeah, know, I wasn't there to upset people. So, a few tips for you. Hope they help. And uh, until next time. Practice and enjoy.